Welcome to this episode of Leap Forward with Three Stern Schnell. I'm Marty Wilford, here with Andy Sorensen, our planting and combine specialist. And if you could introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your your tenure here. Yeah, um, I'm Andy Sorensen. Uh, been working with the company for 11 years now. Started off in the shop in Pulaski, working on combines. They've really been a passion, so I jumped into this role to uh, further promote them and uh, help customers out. Yeah, we, and we've been excited to have you in this role. And with, uh, you know, beans are turning color right now and the leaves are dropping, we are talking everything combines today. Uh, Andy and I are in front of a S7-800. This is actually a early 25 machine coming out, wouldn't you say, Andy? Yeah, this is our LPB unit for this year. Um, these these will be available for order right now, actually. And, uh, yeah, we're out there demoing it to our customers. And as far as what's new on this versus, you know, for 25 versus 24, obviously the panels for anybody watching here, it's uh, definitely a revision on cosmetics. You know, I feel like it's really a a sharp design panel-wise and everything. Is it just skin deep or no? There is a a ton of difference on this combine. Um, Really a lot of technology, cab, paneling, all the way back to the engine. What they change with the engine? So... On our previous uh, Class 8 and Class 9 machines, uh, we had the 13.5 liter engine. John Deere came out with a, the new JD14, which is a 13.6 liter engine. Uh, redesigned that. Uh, just a lot more power. It feels like a lot lower end torque on the combine. Um, it's a really nice engine. A lot more fuel efficient as well. I've heard about, you know, the technology. I know you and I have talked a little bit, and we used to have Harvest Smart. You know, we've had that around for a long time in the combines, and I think you told me there's some improvements. It's uh, maybe even name different and how that works. Yeah, so John Deere really took a look at their combines here, and uh, they decided, you know, that they needed to help the customers out. Um, they redesigned the technology, putting that more fuel-efficient engine in. They really wanted to get efficiency, more efficient, and productivity throughout the day. So before we did have Combine Advisor, um, which was a system that we had to set up, uh, set up the Combine and tell it where we wanted to be with the, uh, our settings. Now, um, with Harvest Settings Automation, we're able to set uh, inputs into the Combine to say what we want out of it. Um, so it's leading to us getting into the field, getting combining faster. The machines set up a lot faster during the day. And does that help with kind of maintaining grain quality and settings and absolutely um so it is always monitoring the combine here what we're putting out the back as far as our losses our grain quality in the tank and any foreign material that's coming in the tank so broken material broken grain foreign material in the tank it's always monitoring that we can set limits to as to far how far we want or how acceptable we want that to be so if there's a lot of foreign material in the tank we would we could just bump that number down and it's going to clean that up for us and we're doing that through just through through sensors or cameras or? yeah so there's uh two cameras one on a ele- green clean grain elevator and one on the tailings elevator those cameras are constantly monitoring that grain going up that elevator coming through on uh, our, our display we're able to monitor those cameras right in the cab um they're coming through on our new gen 5 display that's in the combines now um so there's a lot of high quality resolution on those for us to monitor that awesome Awesome. Nice changes. Yeah. Also, we put some uh, more loss sensors. So we give the ability, the operator, the ability to really see what's going on inside the machine without having to be inside the machine. Yeah. As you know, it could hurt getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A guy, guy like me doesn't fit in there very well. Um, I, I, what's this I hear? I, I've heard about we're going to be able to actually utilize satellite imagery of you know, kind of currently what the crop looks like after, you know, before harvest uh, to help out with this? Or? Yeah, so that is some uh, groundbreaking technology that came out on uh, this model year 25 combine. So throughout the year, um, we have partnered with a third-party company, and uh, they're taking images of our growing season to see how that crop is growing, if there's drowned out spots, the biomass of that, that crop that's growing. Then from then we load that into the combine and we also have uh, forward facing cameras on here, two of them that look 28 feet out and head of the front of the combine. So it's always monitoring what's coming into the combine. Um, before we were able to have the combine drive itself, so to say, 
but it, it was really a react to system because it wasn't adjusting until that crop was inside the combine. Now with the ability to look out in front of it, we can see what's about to come in and we can adjust the combine before we get to that crop. So it's pretty neat technology. Gives us the ability to keep this combine running at full capacity all day long. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty wild where 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 this is you know what what we've got here. Yeah, and not only that, um, working you know more product productivity throughout the day. Them cameras are also tied into that first setting or the automation that we talked about, which would be the harvest settings automation. So this kind of, the cameras are going to allow us to push this combine to one hundred and five percent load if need be, but it's not going to do that until our grain quality and our losses are met. Okay. So a lot of a lot of productivity, and it sounds like that would you know kind of lend itself to operator comfort too. Just long long days in the combine, and yeah, as you know, you've been out with customers, um, riding with them. There's a lot going on when you get a grain cart next to you, uh, coordinating the semis to and from the mill. So yeah, taking some more of that operator fatigue off their plate, um, giving them the ability to, you know, do the logistics of their company. Yeah, and and kind of. Talking about operator comfort, it sounded like maybe we had some cab changes, you know, aside from hopefully making the day feel a little shorter with technology. Do we have any actual physical changes in the cab? Yeah, or? so um, John Deere really wanted to mainstream their combines from the X9 to the S7 series combine. So we took the X9 cab and we put it on the S7 series combine. Um, you're going to get your leather heated, cooled massaging seat in there. Um, you're going to get your Gen 5 with the ability to put an extended Gen 5 in there as well. Um, also, uh, the auto cinching cab door might sound a little um, excessive, but when you're talking cab noise and getting keeping that dirt out of the cab, um, that auto cinching door actually does go a long way, making sure that cab is sealed tight. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, I guess a lot of pressure when you're shutting that door. I thought I had a customer a while back, you know, that was showing me his Lincoln that he got, and it had doors like that where you shut it, and it would close itself out i mean right i didn't realize we were so close to having it on equipment yep that's pretty cool yeah they're pretty impressive inside that cab i was able to operate it here for some trainings that we did with the company and uh it it is truly a nice experience inside that cab cool cool um yeah it seems like like this we've got tracks on this model of course and we can get wheels on this one too yeah so john Deere. um goes a long way of keeping our options available on this um, as far as tracks for the higher flotation. Um, the John Deere tracks are really uh, pretty proven and uh, really robust. We've taken that planetary and moved it out to the track, um, beefed it up a little bit so there's uh, le- less wear. And um, if you were to put like an aftermarket track on, there's a just a lot better, more robust option with the John Deere factory track. Is in transport speed, are we limited at all with tracks, or does it get us close to tires? Or Oh, uh, yeah, we're still maintaining that 24, 25 mile an hour down the nice. road with these tracks. That's just one portion. Um, we do have lots of options, as many of our customers know, but we like to be able to meet every customer's need from our tailboards to how we're spreading that. Um, our feeder house options, there's just a ton of options on really customizing these machines for these operators. Nice. We can really tailor it then, you know, between concaves and everything. Absolutely. Yep. And at all, you know, talking to Andy, it's a, a good head really can make a combine shine. And I know you're passionate about our front end, you know, front end equipment and draper heads. Tell us a little bit about the, the hinge draper. I just feel like that's really a neat product. Yeah. So just like you said, uh, combine isn't really worth much without a good head on out front. Um, and that, our hinge draper came out a few years ago um so this is a draper platform um head that is able to have the wings flex on the outside up to uh, 20 inches um also with giving us the ability to have that cutter bar flex too so getting down hugging that ground making sure that we can get all the crop off the ground um is is truly you know goes a long way to our field losses our header losses and combine losses maximizing putting that grain in that customer's bin at the end of the day and that's actually is that the same hydroflex cutter bar system that we have on our you know rigid frame drapers so our rigid frame drapers are going to be a hydroflex um yeah. hydraulically flexing uh the cutter bars on our hinge drapers are actually a spring flex 
Okay. Um, but the wings of it are uh, hydraulic and flexing. Yep. So the actual whole frame flexes and yep. the cutter bar flexes as well. Yep, and that's something that's truly unique to John Deere, having that flexible cutter bar. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that's to get a to get a head big enough to go on, you know, to fill a combine like this 45, you know, 45-foot head and all the ground kind. Yeah. That's, that's important. Absolutely. Uh, offering that model um, of our hinge draper from a 50-foot all the way down to a 35-foot for customers with the lower class combine or smaller class combines. Yeah. And corn heads, I, I know we had some revisions there a couple of years ago. It's I know they, uh, it, you know, feed really well and they have all kinds of chopping options. Yeah, yeah. There too, uh, John Deere does uh, a very good job of keeping our options, a lot of options on the table for our header systems as well. Um, going back to our uh, drapers and our uh, rigid draper, hinge draper, we have the flip over reel. Our corn heads, we're able to order them with the chopping gear cases on. We can order them with chopping rolls, intermeshing, a pose knife. There's truly a lot of options out there on them corn heads. Yeah, just like the rest of the combine, we can really tailor that head. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, one, I guess one last thing. I mean, it's, I know not every dealer has uh, somebody that's actually in a product specialist, uh, you know, just to specialize on combines and planters, but that does that really bring us some value, I feel like, with, be able to help get things tailored and set up properly yeah. and um as you know i mean being a salesman is a, a pretty intuitive job knowing all the options and stuff out on between tractors to lawnmowers to combines to choppers there's truly a lot to understand um and that's where i come in i help uh in the initial meetings with customers really gathering what they want on that combine so we're able to tailor it with all those options to get what they want out of that combine so me being there to help uh, on that end is, uh, I believe, truly a benefit for some of our customers out there. Yeah, just just to, I think, get out by them, too, and make sure they're optimized, right? And Yeah. Uh, none, none of this equipment is inexpensive anymore, so we just want to make sure our guys get the value out of it. Right. Our job de- definitely does not stop when we sell this piece of uh, equipment. We're, I'm out there um, in season helping them optimize, uh, making sure that their settings are correct. Um, if they need any help with concave selection or anything like that, um, truly getting out there, um, bridging that gap between the sales and the service, which you know um, we do have world-class service out of our dealership. Some of the best technicians I've met um, are within Reister and Shell's organization. Yeah, thanks for tuning in to Leap Forward with Reister and Shell. And Andy, thanks for all your experience and uh, know-how and combines and fill us in on new technology. Yeah, thanks, Marty, and we hope to see you guys out of there demoing this combine around. We're your John Deere dealer coming through for you, Reisterer and Schnell.